to discuss the pre-calculus quarter one. Good morning. Uh, we're going to discuss the module four, which is ellipses. So in this part, we are going to discuss lesson one, two, and three. So the entire chapter of the ellipse, which, uh, which includes the definition of an ellipse, parts of an ellipse, and the standard form of an ellipse. So let's have first the lesson one of our chapter, which is the definition of an ellipse. This is quite long, so please bear with me. Okay, so before we start, let's have our learning competency. Um, at the end of this lesson, you're expected to define an ellipse. And for your subtask, we have to derive the standard form of the equation of an ellipse from the foci. So start, to start with, we have the definition. So according to your module, the writer gave this um, definition. So an ellipse, it is, an, it is the set of all points x, y in a plane such that the sum of their distances from two fixed points is a constant. That is the definition given by the author in your module. So consider the points. Um, but I am going to define uh, the this the ellipse using this graphing technique so consider the points f1 or uh, point f sub 1 which is negative 3 and 0 and f sub 2 which is 3 0 i hope you can see the plotted points that is f sub 2 and uh, point a 4 and 2.4 Okay, so we're going to plot that is point A, the color blue. I hope you can see that. So what is the sum of the distances of A, point A, 4 to the uh, 4 and 2.4 from F? I go automatic siya. F, F sub 1 and F sub 2. So we're going to use the distance formula. So we have the square root of negative 3 uh, minus 4 square plus... 0 minus 2.4. Okay. C A, I see uh, X sub 1 at Y sub 1 at C F or uh, point F sub 1, I see X sub 2. So, yeah. so, evaluating this formula, we have the distance from point A to F sub 1 is 7.4. And the distance from uh, point A to F sub 2 is 2.6. Adding the 2, we have 7.4 plus 2.6 equals 10. Nagmamadali ito aking PowerPoint. Okay, so we have 10. Uh, I hope na-discuss sa inyo ito nung nasa grade 10 kayo because it is uh, under the uh, lesson distance formula or distance between two points. So this is pre-calculus. This is under analytic geometry that's why you are expected to have your pre uh, lessons in analytic geometry which is in which includes the uh, distance formula okay i hope familiar kayo okay take note of this yung distance mula sa a patungo sa f sub 1 ay 7.4 at yung distance mula sa a patungo sa f F sub 2 ay 2.6. Ang sabi sa tanong natin is, what is the sum of the distance, bakit lumilipat, of the distances of point A to F sub 1 and point A to F sub 2? So, dito sa ilalim, we have uh, A, the distance from A, F sub 1 is 7.4 and the distance from A, to F sub 2 is 2.6. Adding the 2, we have 10. Okay? Next, what is the distances from point B? Given si point B, ito yon, yung kulay green, um, from F sub 1 and F sub 2. So, si point B, from point B to F sub 1 is 3.8. Ito siya, kung nakikita nyo, nakahighlight siya. I-landscape nyo yung mga phone nyo para medyo lumaki yung inyong screen. Tapos, from point B to point F sub 2 is 6.2. Adding the 2, okay, kung titingnan nyo to, 3.8 plus 6.2 is equal to 10. I hope you get that. Next. 
um, reminder ha, we are still defining. Okay? Nagde-define pa tayo. So, hindi pa tayo nagsasolve. Nagde-define pa lang tayo kung ano ang ellipse and we are using graphical method. Okay? So, dinidiscuss talaga natin siya in detail. Okay, next question. What is the distances of point C, that the coordinates are 0 and negative 4, from F sub 1 and F sub 2? Si kulay pink, si C. So, from F sub 1 to C, or from C to F sub 1, pareho lang yun. Ito yung uh, kanyang, ano, kanyang solving, kanyang solution. We use also the distance formula, which is um, F sub 1 is D, X sub 1, and Y sub 1. And the C is the X sub 2 and the Y sub 2. So, negative 3 is the X sub 1, which is the abscissa of F sub 1. And 0 is the abscissa of point C. Okay? So, generating this uh, equation, we obtain C F sub 1 is equal to 5. B ibig sabihin, yung distance mula sa C patungo sa F sub 1 ay 5. At dito sa ating pangalawang solution, nakuha din natin ay 5. Yung distance mula sa C patungo sa F sub 2 ay 5. Adding the 2, 5 plus 5, of course, we have 10. Ano napansin nyo? So, yung mga points na sinold natin kanina, mula sa point A patungo sa F sub 1 at F sub 2, yung kanilang sum ay 10. Mula sa point B, patungo sa F sub 1 at F sub 2, ang distance ay 10. Same as point C. Ang distance then, yung sum ng kanilang distances ay 10. Ano napansin nyo? Pare-pareho, ba? So, we have the same distances or the sum of their distances are the same, which is 10. Ngayon, if we're going to draw a figure, this is called the ellipse. So, ibig sabihin, dadaanan lahat ng ellipse yung point A, point B, at point C. Kung nakikita nyo, dinaanan siya. Ngayon, ano kaya ang sikreto dito sa dalawang pulang uh, points na to? Yung F sub 1 at F sub 2. So, sasagutin natin later on. Okay, so now this is the precise definition. Nagde-define pa lang tayo. This is the precise definition of an ellipse. So, let F sub 1 and F sub 2 be distinct points. Ibig sabihin, given yan, distinct yung mga yan. Okay? So, the set of all point P whose distances from F sub 1 and F sub 2 from F sub 1 and from F sub 2 nakalimutan ko itong palitan add up to a certain uh, constant is called ellipse. Ibig sabihin, kahit sa ang points mapunta or gun dito man. Kung nakikita niyo yung cursor ko, if you can see my cursor. Tingnan ko nga. Okay, nakikita yung cursor ko. So, kahit sa ang point dito sa ellipse, pagka in mo yung distance nila mula dun sa point patungo dun sa F sub 1 plus yung distance from point, any point P patungo sa F sub 2, in mo yun, magiging equal sa 2A. Pareho pareho ang mak makukuha ninyo. Okay? Pareho yung distance. Depende kung ano yung coordinates ni F sub 1 at F sub 2 at ni uh, point P, X, Y. Okay? So, pareho pa rin. Gaya nito, kahit saan silang point, kahit na saan yung point na given, basta na it lies within the ellipse, Okay, basta dinaanan ni ellipse, ang sagot ay pareho pa rin. Okay, kahit ilagay mo uh, A to Z na point, isold mo, tandaan nyo, infinite number of points ang ellipse ha, pareho pa rin ng uh, circle. It is a close bounded figure which is uh, um, binubuo siya ng infinite number of points. Okay. So, that is a precise definition of, a, of an ellipse. Ito yun. Okay? Now, let's move on to the parts of an ellipse. Excuse me for a while. Okay. So, let's now move on to parts of an ellipse. Okay. So, 
let me have this one. So the parts of an ellipse, let's move, let's start with the center. The center is, if the center is at the origin, ganito ang magiging itsura. Ayan. So yan ang ellipse. So pwedeng patayo or pwede ring uh, pahiga. Gaya nito. Ito yung pahiga. If the center is at HK, so pwedeng ganyan. Ayan. Ibig sabihin wala sa 0, 0. Tandaan niya, i-review natin. Si center, kung ang center ay nasa origin, ang origin ay 0, 0, yun, ito yung nasa gitna. Pero kung ang center ay nasa HK, ibig sabihin, any point in the coordinate plane, in the XY plane, so yan, pwedeng nandyan, pwedeng kahit saan. Okay? Pwedeng... So, yan yung magiging itsura. Okay? So, that is the center of the ellipse. Next. Nag-automatic yung aking, ano, um, PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, number two, we have the foci. So, the foci is given by point F sub 1, yung kaninang given natin, which uh, has uh, coordinates of negative C, 0. And F sub 2, we ha uh, which has the coordinate of Positive C, 0. Okay. So, H focus is C away, uh, C units away from the center. Okay. Tingnan natin mabuti ito. So, I hope you can see from the center. Uh, ang given natin dito is yung center nga is the origin. Okay. Ngayon, so since ang center natin is the origin, ibig sabihin mula sa center, mula sa origin, patungo dun sa F sub 1 or point F sub 1, ang distance ay C. Pareho din nung uh, distance ng F sub 2. So, mula sa origin patungo sa uh, point F sub 2, C din yung, ano, yung kanyang distance. Ibig sabihin, pareho yung distance nila. Naintindihan? Okay. Ma'am, what if po wala sa origin yung, yung ating center? So, Ibig sabihin nun, pareho din. Wala naman problema. Basta ang center mo ay given, so alam mo kung ano yung magiging distance ng C. So, ibig sabihin, si from point F sub 1 to point F sub 2 equals 2C. Okay? Kasi dalawang C yan. Ngayon, ang coordinates. Tandaan na buti, ang ina-associate natin na letter sa foci. Foci, ibig sabihin dalawa, focus, isa lang. Okay? So, kaya focus dito. Baka malito kayo. So, each focus, ibig sabihin, isang point, isang point na foci. Yung foci kasi ano yan? Plural form ng focus. So, point F sub 1 is a focus and point F sub 2 is a focus. Silang dalawa, foci. Okay? So, ina-associate natin si foci sa letter C. A, B, C kasi yan. Mamaya makikita nyo. A, B, C yan. So, wag malilito which we have the vertices and the covertices. Okay? So, si foci ay C. Okay? So, ang distance mula sa center hanggang sa foci or sa mga focus ay C. Okay? So, for any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 2A. So, kanina ni-review natin yan. Ito yon. So, PF sub 1 plus PF sub 2 is equal to 2A. Ibig sabihin, given yung dalawang foci, may isang point, yung sum nila, 2A. Doon papasok si vertices. Okay, dapat ganito to eh. Ayan. So, the vertices is associated to the letter A. So, yun yung vertices, yung dulo. Sa mga quadrilaterals, yung vertices, yung vertex is yung uh, yung mga uh, kanto. Pero dito, yung vertices is yung actually, yung pinaka kanto rin. Pero since curve yung ating ellipse, wala siyang kanto. Okay? Yung pinaka dulo. Okay? It is the tip most part. Now, the vertices are points on the ellipse that are collinear with the center and the foci. And this is the uh, vertex 1 this is the vertex 2. So, collinear sila, ibig sabihin, excuse me. <clears throat> they are collinear. That, it, that means that they share or they share a uh, one line. Ibig sabihin, they are in one line. Kaya meron tayong kulay green na line dito. Kung makikita ninyo, this is, this is the vertex. 
Vertex 1, vertex 2. So, yun. Okay. And then, so this is the vertex 1, this is the vertex 2. So, as you can see, ito si foci 1, ito si foci 2. At dinaanan niya yung center. That's why collinear sila. Okay? So, they are in one line. They are found in one line. So, collinear si vertex kay foci at kay center. Ang ingay ng mga nasa background ko. I hope hindi nyo sila naririnig. Okay. So, the vertices, vertex 1.1 and the vertex 2, tatandaan nyo to, if y is equal to 0, then, x is equal to positive or negative a. Okay, review tayo. Kanina, si foci or si focus, ano ang letter na ina-associate natin sa kanya? Ano ang representative niya? Letter C. Ngayon, si vertex ay A. Tatandaan yan. So, si vertex ay A. Ibig sabihin, each vertex is A units away from the center. Okay? A units away from the center. So, this is our center, yung origin. Mula sa center, patungo sa vertex, A units yan. Number yan. Okay? May katumba siya number. So, pareho din dito sa from the origin or from the center up to the vertex number 2 or V sub 2. Pareho lang sila. That's why if you're going to measure the or add the distance from the vertex 1 to vertex 2, we have 2A. Okay? Okay, now the, the distance from the vertex 1 to the uh, to vertex 2 is called 2A. Yeah, yun, dinis ko na kanina. And its length, tandaan, length ni, ni, ni major axis, sorry, the segment uh, V sub 1 and V sub 2 is called the major axis. So, yung V sub 1 up to V sub 2 segment, line segment yan, and it is called the major axis. Ang length ni major axis ay 2A. Okay? It divides the ellipse into two congruent parts. Ibig sabihin, from V sub 1 to the center is congruent to V sub 1 uh, to the center to V sub 2. Ibig sabihin ng congruent, pareho ng size. Okay? Pareho ng sukat. Pareho ng distansya. So, kapag kaginuhitan mo mula kay uh, vertex 1 to vertex 2, mapoform si major axis. At nga pala, ang, ang sukat ni major axis, tatandaan ay 2A. Kung meron tayong major axis, meron din naman tayong minor axis at binubuo yan ng uh, covertices. So, ito yung kalawa. So, si minor axis, the segment through the center perpendicular to the major axis is the minor axis. Ibig sabihin ng perpendicular, it intersects the, the major axis with a perfect 90 degree uh, measurement. Okay? So, may, magkakaroon ng 90 degree measurement dito. That's why it is called perpendicular. So, ang ating cover, this is, if you, if, kung mapapansin ninyo, it is represented by B. Ulitin natin, ha? Si foci, ang representation na letter niya is C. Si um, vertex, ang representation niya is letter A. Ibig sabihin, si foci kanina, from the origin up to the foci, ang distance ay C. Kaya representation niya is letter C. Next, si vertex or si vertices, from the origin or from the, uh, from the center up to the vertex, the distance is A. Okay, that's why, yun ang palatandaan natin, A. And the covertices, from the um, center up to the ver covertices, the distance is B. Okay? So, now, kalimutan ko pala ilagay. So, the covertices are the vertices dun sa uh, taas at sa baba. Okay? Dun sa gilid. So, parang si vertex din, pero... Um, if you formulate the, if you draw a line, segment vertex 1 and vertex 2, bakit dalawa yung ano? Okay, so this is vertex 1, which is negative B. 
So this is the co vertices 2. This is the co vertices 1. Okay. Pagka uh, kinonek mo yung dalawang yan, segment W1, W2 is the minor axis. Ito yun. Okay. And its um, measurement or the length of the minor axis is 2B. Kanina, si vertices, ang length niya ay 2A. Okay? So, ayan. And it formulates from the vertex 1 to vertex 2, it forms the major axis. Next, dito sa co-vertices, from co-vertices 1 to co-vertices 2, it formulates the minor axis. And its length is 2B. Okay? Huwag papalito. Ayan. So, since A is greater than B, A, yung, yung sukat ni, ano, ni major axis. So, A is greater than B. Therefore, the major axis is longer than the minor axis. Patandaan palagi yan. Okay. So, this is the how does a uh, horizontal ellipse looks like. Pahiga siya. And the vertical ellipse looks like. So, patayo siya. Okay? So, tatandaan to. Pagka horizontal si ellipse, parallel si major axis sa x-axis. Pagka vertical si ellipse, parallel si major axis sa y-axis. Okay? Parallel, ibig sabihin, um, they're not going to intersect, pero kaano niya, ang tawag doon, basta parallel. <laughs> ang hirap niya itagalog. Okay, now let's move on to lesson 3. So, this, let's move on to the standard forms of the equation of an ellipse with center of 0, 0, or the center is at the origin. So, let's, we are now ready to discuss the um, equation, the standard equation of an ellipse that is found, the center is found at the origin. So, we have this. Uh, considerations. We have these characteristics. So, given two points on the axis, si, fo uh, si foci, yung mga foci niya, focus 1 and focus 2, ang coordinates nila, tatandaan, si focus 1 ay negative C0, si focus 2 ay C0, kasi nasa positive part siya. Okay? Ang center natin ay at the origin. Okay? So, parehong C units away. Parehong, pareho yung sukat niyan. Next, let P, point P, X, Y, be the point on the ellipse. Ito yun. Nire-review ko to. Kanina ko pata din discuss Let the common sum of the distances is 2A. Ito yun. So, the coefficient 2 will make computation simpler. Thus, we have the from P to F sub 1 plus from P to F sub 2 equals 2A. Ano kaya ang sense niyan? Later on, we will discuss that. Okay, so let's have the derivation of the formula of the standard equation, sorry, the derivation of the standard equation of an ellipse with center at the origin 0, 0. Okay, eto na. So, sana nakikita nyo, huwag kayong papalito. Nag-aano nag kasi siya, nag-automatic kasi siya eh. Bibilisan ko na lang. So, we have these points, si F sub 1, F sub 2 at point P. So, gagamitin natin yung kanina, si P sub, uh, P, F sub 1 plus P, F sub 2 is equal to 2A. Tapos, ililipat natin si P, F sub 2. Kung titignan nyo, iniba ko yung kulay para ma-determine nyo kung sino yung P, F sub 2. Okay, using the distance formula, si F sub 1 ay si X sub 1, Y sub 1, at si P ay si X sub 2, Y sub 2. Equals 2A, nire-write ko lang si 2A. Tapos, using the distance formula also, we have the uh, X sub 1, X sub 2, I see point F sub 2, at C point P, I see X sub 2, X, Y sub 2. Okay. Generating the, for, uh, the equation, dito na tayo. So, para mawala, yung square root, yung radical, nag-automatic yung ano ko. Ay.
Ayan, siguro hindi na mag... Oh. Okay. So, nilipat natin si F sub 2. Ngayon, bumagal na... <laughs> Okay. Pakisabi kay Janice, nasa bahay ako, wala ako sa school. Kuni na lang niya yung kanyang ano, module dun sa mga upuan. Okay. Para matanggal yung... Nag-automatic talaga siya. O, dito na tayo. I hope nakikita niyo yung cursor ko. Ang hirap mag-discuss talaga pag ano. So, in here, para matanggal yung radical sign dito, i-square natin both sides. Tandaan, if what you're going to do in the left side, gagawin nyo rin sa right side. Kaya, i-square natin siya. Ayun. So, naging square siya. So, na-cancel yung 2 at 2. Actually, bawal yung cancel na cancel ng ganito. So, ang, ang, ang ginagawa dito is, we raise uh, this quantity into one half. So, times 2 siya nun. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Ngayon, dito, i-square din natin siya. Kaya siya naging ganito. Okay, ma'am, bakit po siya naging ganyan? Bakit naging gano? In-expand ko si x plus c square. <clears throat> square x, we have x squared. Multiply x times c, we have xc or cx, times 2 pa siya nun. And then, we square c, we square c, we have c square. And then, we rewrite y square. Okay, Janice, nasa ano ako? Nasa bahay ako. Wala ako sa school. Kasi, we have to discuss this. Okay, so now, ma'am, bakit po humaba yung, yung uh, equation dito? So, we square, this is the first term. We treat this as a binomial. Okay, and this is the second term. Di mo naman pwedeng paghiwalayin to, kaya siya nakakulay violet or pink. Kasi I want you to recognize this, that this one is a one term. Kumbaga, this is, kung A plus B yan, this is A, this is B. Itong entire na square root of quantity x minus c square plus y square. Okay? So, we treat this as a binomial. So, we square 2a, it will become 4a square. Next, multiply this one. 2a times the square root of this one times 2. Kaya siya naging 4a. Okay? Next, square we square uh, this one. Okay, ngayon ko lang napansin, mali pala yung ano ko. Minus ito. Kasi ano siya. Hindi yun napindot ko. Minus siya. So, tama ito. And then, we square this one. Para ma-square mo, para mawala yung radical niya, we square it. Okay, kaya siya naging x minus c. Kung makikita ninyo, yung laman lang niya is yung nandito. Ayan. Later on, we will expand that. And then, in-expand natin siya banda dito sa ilalim. Ayan. So, x, square x, we have x square. Multiply the 2 times 2. We have negative 2 cx. And then, square c, we have c square. The right y square. Ngayon, ma'am, bakit po na-cancel si x square at x square? x square dito sa left side at x square dito sa right side. Kasi pagka inilipat mo si x square sa kabila, magiging negative yan. Kaya hindi ko na ilipat kasi mahaba yung solution. So, makakancel niyan si x square at si x square kasi pareho sila ng sign. Pero kung hindi sila pareho ng sign gaya ni 2c, dito negative si 2c, positive si 2c, kapag ka nilipat mo si 2c x dito sa kabila, magiging negative. So, pwede mo silang i-add. Okay? Now, si Cancel din sa y square. Kaya ang natira dito sa left side ay 2cx equals, okay, so rewrite natin si 4a square minus 4a square root of x c square plus y square minus, ang natira na lang dito sa expression na to ay negative 2cx. 
Ngayon, lilipat natin si 2CX dito sa left side, papunta sa kabila. Ito siya. Okay. So, add natin silang dalawa. Ito siya, naging negative 4CX. And then, eto, ma'am, bakit po naging ganito? Saan na magaling si 4? Saan napunta yung mga 4? We factor out 4 kasi common monomial factor yan. Kung makikita nyo, this is one term. This is another term. And this is another term. Sa so, pare-pareho silang may 4, kaya we factor out 4. Okay? So, inilabas natin si 4. 4a squared divided by 4 is a square. 4a, the square root of this one, divided by 4 is a, the square root of this expression. And negative 4cx divided by 4 is negative cx. Okay. So, dito, isunulat ko lang ulit. Inilipat natin, kung nakikita nyo na yellow ito, kasi gusto kong ma-recognize ninyo na this one is uh, is also this one. So, negative siya dito, magiging positive siya dito. Ang natira is a square minus cx. Ang ingay ng nasa ano ko, background ko. Excuse me for a while. Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry for that interruption. Now, okay, so, natira ay a, a square minus c square. And then, we square so that uh, both sides of the equation so that we can eliminate the square root. And then, we have this uh, result. So, a square times x squared. In expand ko si x minus c square. So, ayan siya. And then, rewrite y square. Equals, so we also expand this in, in square natin siya. And then, um, distribute a square to all of the terms here. So, rewrite nyo lang yung sa left side. And then, we can cancel 2 and 2 and um, 2 a square and cx. And 2a square and cx. Okay, mali na naman yung sign dito. Minus ito. So, you cannot cancel pagka-positive ito. Okay. Now, since na-cancel na yan, ang matitira na lang ay a square x square plus a square c square plus a square y square. And then, dito sa kabila, ang natira ay a to the fourth power plus c, c square x square. Okay. Ngayon, ano nangyari? Yung araw kanina, si c square x square, ililipat siya sa left side. Ito siya. Kaya siya naging negative. Tapos, si a square c square, ililipat siya sa kabila. Bakit, ma'am, bakit po siya ililipat? Bakit sila inilipat? Kasi, para makuha natin yung uh, ma-factor out natin yung gusto natin i-factor. Okay, which is the a square minus c square. So, i-factor atin kasi parehong may uh, x square yung dalawa. Ito, ito, ito. Parehong may x square. So, i-factor out natin si x square. Kaya, ang natira is a square. Ito yun. And c square. Ito yun. Plus, rewrite a square, y square. And also, this one, finactor out natin si a square. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho ng finactor out natin dito. Ngayon, we let b be equal to the square root of uh, a square minus c square. So, tatandaan, a is always greater than b. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka pinalitan mo, or you're going to solve for b, Papalitan natin to. So, a square minus c square. Para maiwasan natin na may, may ano to, na may uh, radical, we square also b. So, that's why this one, 
a square minus c square, pinalitan natin siya as b square. Okay? So, same. a square minus c square, pinalitan natin siya as b square. Okay. So, we want this uh, right side become 1. That's why we divide the entire equation by a square b square. Kaya yan, na-cancel siya. So, ganito yung ano niya nangyari. B square x square over a square b square, yung pinag-divide natin kanina, plus a square y square over a square b square equals 1. So, kinancel ko si b square dito. Ang natira si x square over a square plus a square y square over a square b square. Na-cancel si a square. Ang natira is y square over b square equals 1. And that's how the standard form of the uh, standard equation of the ellipse is formed. Okay, so yun yung gagamitin natin. If the equation, if the center is at the origin. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, when we let b is equal to the square root of a square minus c square, we assume that a is greater than c. Oo naman, kasi a is the distance from the um, from the uh, center to the vertex. E, yung C is the distance from the center to the foci, to the focus. That's why mas mahaba si A kesa sa C. Okay, now look at the triangle uh, PF1 and PF2. So, PF1 plus PF2 is longer than F sub 1 and F sub 2. Ito yung distance. Okay? Which implies 2A is greater than 2C. So, A is greater than C talaga. So, we collect here the features of the graph of an ellipse. So, the standard equation is this one. X squared over A squared plus Y squared over B squared equals 1. So, tatandaan din natin itong ating formula from the derivation from the uh, features of the graph. Uh, is this familiar? Anong class in triangle to? This is a Pythagorean theorem, right? C square is equal to A square minus B square. Okay, gagamitin din natin ito. Okay, so ang dami natin ginamit na formula. We have the distance formula, gagamitin din natin yung midpoint formula, and the Pythagorean theorem or Pythagorean uh, in finding the hypotenuse. Okay, now we are now to uh, we are going to discuss writing equation of an ellipse at, at uh, centered at the origin in standard form. So we have these steps. Step one: determine whether the major axis is on the x or y axis. Tataan, tatandaan nyo to. If the given coordinates of the vertices and foci have the form positive a, positive negative a zero and positive negative C0, respectively, then the major axis is parallel to x-axis. Pero kung ang positive A, positive negative A, ay nandito siya sa Y, which is in the number two, uh, number two steps, the major axis is parallel to the y-axis. So, ito yung gagamitin natin ng equation. So, baligtad sila. Kung, kung titingnan nyo dito, si A square ay nasa denominator ni X squared. Si B square ay nasa denominator ni Y squared. Ito yun. Dito naman, pagka si uh, yung coordinates ni foci at ni vertex ay nasa uh, Y, ibig sabihin nasa ordinate, ang gagamitin natin na formula or equation, format ng equation ay x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. Step 2, use the c squared, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, the Pythagorean theorem, my equals a squared minus b squared along with the given coordinates to solve for b squared. Step 3, substitute the values of a squared and b squared into the standard form of the equation. Tatlo lang yan, mamaya yung medyo mahaba. Let's now have the example number 1. What is the standard form of the equation of the ellipse that has vertices of positive negative 8, 0 and foci of positive negative 5, 0? Okay, so punta tayo dito sa ating 
um, Jamboard. So, we have the example number one. Okay. So, our example number one is you're going to... Uh, find the standard equation of the ellipse. So what is the standard what is the standard equation? Standard form equation of the ellipse that has vertices of Okay, isusulat ko na lang to kasi minsan nag-aano Positive negative 8 0 and foci of positive negative 5 0 okay so step 1 determine whether the the major axis is on x or y axis Ano kasi yung tatandaan? Pagka yung A or yung non-zero ay nasa X or nasa absisa, ayan, ibig sabihin, ang ating major axis ay parallel sa X axis. Ito ang gagamitin nating equation. Ngayon, pagka ang ating um, non-zero ay nasa ordinate or nasa Y, both vertices and foci, ang gagamitin natin equation ay this one. Ibig sabihin, parallel siya kay yung major axis, parallel kay y-axis. Okay. So, in this part, nasan yung ano? Nasaan yung ating non-zero? Nasa x, di ba? Nasa x siya. Therefore, what can we conclude? So, the foci are on the x-axis. So, the major axis is, is on the x-axis. Thus, equation will have the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. I hope you get that. Ma, bakit po naging ganyan? Kasi nga, nandito yung non-zero. Pero kung nagkataon, ganito yan, 0, positive, negative 5, baligtad yung ating equation. Okay? Pero since ito yung given natin, ito yung magiging equation natin. So, erase ko to para hindi kayo malito. Okay, step two, this is step one. Let's identify the given. Okay, we have the vertices. Okay, what are the vertices? Ang ating V1 ay negative 8, 
zero. Ma'am, saan nyo po nakita yun? Eh, nasa given, ito siya. At yung ating V2, o yung vertex number 2 ay positive 8, zero. Okay, pangit yung zero ko. Okay, next. Since the vertex is associated to A, therefore, we can find A. So, A is, ano yung numerical value ni A? 8. Therefore, square natin si 8, A, and 8. It will become 64. So, that is our A square. Eh, di meron na tayo isang given. Ito siya. So, han uh, hanapin na lang natin yan si B. Para, para hanapin natin si B, kailangan natin yung foci. So, ang foci natin ay... So, ang our F sub 1... Asa ah, ang given natin? Ayun. Negative 5, 0. And ang our, our F sub 2 ay positive 5, 0. Now, what is the letter associated to F? It's letter C. So, ang numerical value ni X ay 5. And then, we square it. C square is equal to 25. Step 3. Okay, now that we have A square, review lang natin ha, si A square ay 64 at si, B, at si C C square ay 25. We are now ready to find find B square. Okay, we are going to use the formula C square is equal to A square minus B square. So our C square is 25 equals our A square is 64 minus b square. O, lipat si b square sa kabila, magiging positive b square. Rewrite si 64. Lipat si 25 sa kabila, magiging negative 25. Subtracting the 2, we have b square is equal to 39. Step 4. We are now ready to substitute. Substitute the values in the equation. Okay, so this is our b square. And we're going to use this, the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So, substituting all the values, we have x squared over, ang, x, ang a squared natin is 64 plus y squared. Ang, y, ang b squared natin is 39 equals 1. This is now our standard equation for our ellipse. Okay? <clears throat> so, I'm going to leave the okay, example number 2 because it's already time. Now, let's move on to the standard form of the ellipse if the center is at each K. So, dito, tatandaan palagi, A is greater than B. The length of the major axis is 2A. Okay, the coordinates of the vertices are h plus 
a of h plus minus a k. Ma'am, saan po nang galing yun? Ganito siya. Okay, so we have the uh, center hk. The length of the major axis is 2a. The coordinates of the vertices are h plus or minus a. Ayon. So kung banda sa left, h minus a siya. Kung banda sa right, h plus a siya. And then k. So the length of the minor axis is 2b. Ayon. The co-vertices are h and then k plus b. K plus B and K minus B. So, si K naman ang mag-a-add at mag-minus. So, the coordinates of the foci I, H minus CK at H, minus, H plus CK. So, the formula in finding the, the standard form of the equation if the center is at HK is this one. H minus, ano ba yan? Nag nag ano? Quantity X minus H square over A square plus y minus k square over b square equals 1. So, that is the standard form. Now, let's move on to the example number 3. So, our example number 3 goes like this. What is the standard form equation of the ellipse that has vertices of negative 2, negative 8, and negative 2, 2, and foci of 2, negative 7, and 2, positive 1. Okay, so let's have example 3 here. Hindi na kasi sapat yung oras natin, kaya binibilisan ko na. May klase pa kayo, di ba? Um, tanong ko lang, may klase ba kayo ngayon sa ibang subject nyo? May kausap pa ba ako? Wala pa pong update, ma'am. Okay, so pwede tayo mag-extend kahit konting oras lang. Opo. Okay, thank you. So, our example number three is, what is the... What is the standard form equation of the ellipse? that has vertices of Okay, ang vertices niya ay negative 2, 8 negative 2, 8 hindi na sila pareho ha hindi na sila positive, negative and Kasi ang center natin ay nasa HK na. Negative 2, 2. Tapos, ang ating foci, ay 2, negative 7, and negative 2, 1. So, step 1. I am giving you steps, kamukha na nasa ano nyo, para hindi kayo manibago. Actually, I have my own style in solving this one. Kaya lang, since ang nasa inyo yung uh, module, I want you to follow those steps para hindi kayo malito. Okay, so we determine the which uh, standard equation are we going to use. Okay, tingnan mabuti yung mga given natin. Which are numerically the same? Si X ba o si Y? Tingnan nyo si X. 2, 2, negative 2. Tingnan nyo si Y. 8, 2, 7, 1. Walang consistency, di ba? Pero si X, tingnan nyo. Negative 2, negative 2, positive 2, positive 2. Ano ibig sabihin? Pare-pareho yung yung x coordinates therefore okay how can we say that the x coordinates of the vertices and foci are the same so the major axis 
is parallel to the y-axis. Thus, the equation of the ellipse will have the form x minus h square over b squared plus y minus k square over a square equals 1. Pagka ang y coordinates ang pare-pareho numerically, okay, regardless of the sign, ang gagamitin nyo is yung isa. A yung magiging uh, denominator ni x minus h square at B yung magiging denominator ni um, y minus k square. Ibig sabihin, parallel siya sa x-axis nun. Okay? So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Step 2. So, we need to find the center first. How are we going to find the center? Using midpoint formula. Okay, paano kasi yung midpoint formula natin? So, H, K is equal to Okay, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung vertices. So, ang ating mga vertex ay negative 2, 8 at negative 2, 2. So, ano yung mga x-coordinate niya? Kunin muna natin x-coordinate. Negative 2 at negative 2. So, add natin yun. Negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2. And then, divide natin by 2. Yun yung H. Okay? Next, yung K naman. Kunin natin yung Y coordinate. Okay? So, 8 plus... Bakit plus yun dito? Negative pala siya. Negative pala yung negative 8 natin. Okay? Negative 8. Yung given natin, mali yung pagkakasulat ko. So, negative 8 plus 2 over 2. Okay. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4 divided by 2. And then, negative 8 plus 2 is, hindi sila pareho ng sign, so negative 6 siya over 2. Dividing the 2, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Ayan. So, negative 2 at negative 3 ang ating HK. Step 3. Okay, we are... We are asked to find a square. Find a square. So how are we going to ask uh, to find a square? Remember that the major axis, the length of the major axis of the major axis is 2a. Ayan, gagamitin natin yan. Bounded by the vertices. Ibig sabihin, mula sa vertex 1, patungo sa vertex 2 ay 2A. Now, we solve using the vertices. Ano kasi yung given natin na vertex? So, V1 ay negative 2 at negative 8. At si V2 ay negative 2 at 2. Nababagalan ako sa pagsulat kasi ang hirap, ang hirap magsulat pagka ano. Okay, now we use the formula. Uh, we use 2A, ito yon to find the distance. Equals, subtract natin yung dalawa. Now, Y. 
So, ito, ito, ito. Si negative 8 at si 2. Okay? V1 at V2. So, V2 minus V1. V2 minus V1. Okay? So, 2A Okay, palitan natin yung ano. Y sub 2. Y sub 2. Baka mali ito kayo eh. Akala nyo yung buong V. Minus Y sub 1. Ibig sabihin ito si Y sub 2. Ito si Y sub 1. Okay. Asan si Y sub 2? 2. Minus si Y sub 1 ay negative 8. So, 2A is equal to 2 plus 8. 2A is equal to 10. And isolating A by dividing 2, we have A is equal to 5. And then squaring A, A square, syempre square mo to, 5 times 5 or 5 square is 25. So meron na tayong A square. Tandaan, 25 siya. Next, step 4. Find C square. C square. Okay. So, in order for you to find C square, okay, remember our... Um, foci. Ano kasi yung given natin na foci? So, yung mga given natin na foci ay okay, negative 2 at negative 7. Ano pa? Negative 2 at 1. di ba? Okay. Ngayon, bakit ko sinulat ng ganyan? Para makita nyo. Kasi, si foci can be also named as, can be represented dito-dito sa ating ano natin. Ayan. H uh, and K plus C, tsaka H and K minus C. So, this is H and K minus C. This is H and K plus C. Okay. We substitute A equals 3. Saan po nang galing si 3, ma'am? Di ba sinold natin? Dito sa ating HK. Ayun. Negative 3 pala siya. Hindi siya 3. Okay. So, negative 3. Okay. So, let's use K plus C equals 1. Ito siya. Huwag papalit o. Sige na. Unahin ko na yung ano. Tingnan natin kung pareho lang. K minus C. Ito, ito, ito. K minus C. Ano si K minus C? Negative 7, di ba? Equals negative 7. Okay, substituting the value of K is negative 3 minus C equals negative 7. Lipat sa kabila si negative 3, magiging negative C is equal to negative 7 plus 3. So, negative C is equal to negative 4. Divide both by negative 1 para matanggal yung negative ni C. So, C is equal to positive 4. Tignan natin kung tama. Gawin din natin itong pangalawa. K plus C. 
dapat magtali sila. Dapat ang makuha natin is positive 4. Ang k plus C natin dito is 1. So, ang ating k ay negative 3 plus C equals 1. Lipat sa kabila si negative 3, magiging positive. So, 1 plus 3. Ang ating C dito ay 1 plus 3 is 4. Pareho? O, o pareho. So, our C square, 4 square is 16. Now, we're ready to find the B square. So, step 5. Find B square. So, we are going to use the formula C square is equal to A square minus B square. Review ko lang ha, si A square ay equal sa 25. At si C square ay equal sa 16. Nasolve natin kanina yan. So, substituting, 16 is equal to 25. Minus B square. So, lipat sa kabila si B square, magiging positive. And then, write 25. Tapos, si 16 dito, ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative. So, B square is equal to positive 9. So, we are ready to go. Meron na tayong HK, meron na tayong A square, at meron na tayong B square. And step 6, substitute. Substitute the values in the equation. Okay. So, identify muna natin yung mga given. Ano kasi yung h natin? Ang h natin ay negative 2. O, kung di nyo na naaalala, nandito siya. Ito yun. Ito. Ito. Ito si H. Ito si K. Negative 2 si H. Negative 3 si K. Ang K natin ay negative 3. Ang A squared natin ay 25. At ang B squared natin ay 9. Ayan. So, ang gagamitin nating formula ay x minus h square over b square plus y minus k square over a square equals 1. So, substituting x minus minus ch m negative c 2 dito so magiging plus siya kasi negative times negative is positive minus 2 square ano b square natin 9 plus y okay say minus ayun pero negative c 3 negative times negative is positive and then square over our a square is 25 equals 1. And that is now our equation. Okay? So, hindi ko na i-discuss yung example 4. Pareho lang halos. Example 4 natin dito. Given yung ating center. So, hindi yung nahahanapin yung center. Ito na kagad siya. So, pareho lang. Posi, 9, 1. Uh, ne uh, negative 1, tsaka 1. At ang vertices ay 11, 1. Tapos, negative 3, 1. So, anong pare-pareho numerically? Yung kanyang y um, coordinates. Ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin nyo na ano is uh, x minus h square over a square parallel siya sa uh, x-axis. Okay? 
So, try nyo yun sa bahay. May solution naman sa ano nyo. Next, we are now in the graphing of the standard form of the equation center at 0, 0. So, example 5. Ito, madali na lang to. So, example 5, graph the ellipse given by the equation Okay, ang equation natin is x squared over 9 plus y squared over 25. Madali lang to. Kasi ang ating origin ay nasa 1. Andyan pa ba kayo? Baka wala na akong kinakausap. Okay, just identify the following. Wala sumagot. Baka wala na akong kausap nga. So, first the center. Hello? Hello? Andyan pa ba kayo? Hi po. Hello, okay. At least may sumagot. Okay, the center, of course, it is in the zero, zero. Of course, we have to identify the vertices. So, ang ating vertices, asan si ano nga pala? Identify nga pala natin kung ano ang gagamitin nating ano, uh, equation. Diba, palagi ko na sinasabi, A is greater than B. Ngayon, sino si A at sino si B? Sige nga. 25 po si A, B po si 9. Very good. So, this is A, A squared, and this is B squared. Thank you very much for that response. Since our A squared is 25, we extract the root. Therefore, our A is positive or negative 5. Kung ilalagay natin siya, ang ating vertex 1 ay 0, negative 5. And ang ating uh, vertex 2 ay 0, positive 5. Okay? Next, co-vertices. So, for our co-vertices, our B is 9. Our B square is equal to 9. S extracting the root, we have 3. Our co-vertices 1 is at negative 3, 0. And our co-vertices 2, we have 3, 0. Next, we have the foci. In order for us to find the foci, we will use a formula. C square is equal to A square minus B square. And our A square is 25 minus our B square is 9 equals 16. So, C is equal to 4. That's why our foci 1 or focus 1 is 0, negative 4 and our focus 2 is 0, positive 4. Okay, so we're all set. We have the center vertices, co-vertices, and the foci. Tingnan ko dito kung meron. Andito pa yung ito. Pwede na natin i-graph si ellipse. Ayan. So, ang ating... Uh, center ay sa 0, 0. 
Okay? Ang ating vertices ay 0, negative 5. Yan ang ating V1. Ang ating V2 ay 0, positive 5. Pasensahan nyo na yung ano ko, medyo mahirap mag-shade. Ang ating co-vertices ay uh, negative 3, 0. This is the vertices 1, co-vertices 1. And 3, 0. This is the co-vertices 2. Ang ating foci ay 0, negative 4. This is our foci 1, focus 1. And our focus 2 is 0, positive 4. Now we are ready to sketch our graph. So, tingnan ko kung kaya ko mag-drawing. And that is our ellipse. So, ganyan ang itsura ng ating ellipse, which has an equation of x squared over 9 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Okay? So, ang ating example number 6. Ay, ganito siya. So, pareho lang. Kaya lang, ito, uh, iba. Nagkapalit sila. So, ang ating um, gagamitin ano dito is x squared over a squared plus um, y squared over 4 over b squared. Okay, now we're ready to have our uh, standard form or graphing the standard form of the equation with center at hk. Sinortcut ko na kasi alas just na. Okay, so our example number 7. So graph the uh, ellipse which has an equation of x plus 2 square over 4 plus y minus 5 square over 9 equals 1. Okay, let's identify which is the A and which is the B. Siyempre, A is greater than B. Therefore, this is A, A square, and this is the B square. So, our A is 3, sino shortcut ko na, and B is 2. Okay? So, it is parallel to the y-axis. Okay, now let's have the center. Our center is 2. Okay, our H. This is our H. Okay, dapat negative to. Eh, since positive to, negative yung ating H. And negative siya dito, so our K is 5. Okay, our HK is negative 2, 5. Next, for our vertices, we have this formula, H, K plus K, tsaka H, K minus A. Okay. Ano si H natin? 2, Negative 2. Ano si K natin? 5. Ano si A? 3. So, our vertex, uh, vertex 1 is negative 2, 8. And our vertex 2 is negative 2, 5 minus 3 is negative 2, 2. Next. For our covert, it says the formula in finding the covert, it says, is H plus B K 
k and h minus b k okay what is our h negative 2 what is our b 2 so negative 2 plus 2 and then our k is 5 so negative 2 plus 2 is 0 5 that is our covertices 1 and for our covertices 2 h is negative 2 minus 2 and our k is 5 so negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 and then 5 so that is our covertices 2 and lastly for our foci we will use the formula c square is equal to a square minus b square c square our a square is 9 minus our b square is 4 equals 5 so our c is square root of 5 So in finding for the foci, for the coordinates of the foci, we have this formula, h and k minus c and h k plus c. Okay, so our h is negative 2. Our k is 5 minus square root of 5, which is our C. That is our foci 1. Our foci 2 is our H is negative 2 and our K is 5 plus square root of 5. And that is our foci number 2. Hirap nun. Ano kaya ang katumbos ng square root of 5 sa ano? Tinan nga natin. What I wanted to show you, square root of 5, that is approximately 2.236 and so on. Okay? So, 2.24, which is approximately 2.24. So, kung i-add mo siya, magiging uh, negative 2, uh, 7.24. Okay, we are now ready to graph. Okay, so our center is at negative 2. Five. Okay, dapat pala nakababa ito. Extend ko lang yung ano natin. So, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8. Okay, our center is at negative 2, 5. So this is negative 2 and this is positive 5. So this is our center. Okay, next. Our vertex or vertices are in the negative 2, 8. Okay, this is 8. This is our vertex 2, and our vertex 1 is negative 2, 2. This is our vertex 1. Next, our covertices is 0, 5.
this is our core vertices core vertices 2 and this is our core vertices 1 is negative 4 5 next for our foci we have negative 2 and 7.24 Oh, this is 6, this is 7. So, dito siya. This is our foci 2. And our foci 1 is, add nga natin, plus 5. Oh, tama. Tapos yung isa, 5 minus square root of 5 is 2.76. So, negative 2, tapos 2.76, malapit na sa 3. This is the foci 1. Okay, now we're ready to draw our um, ellipse. And that is our ellipse with the center at negative 2, 5. Okay, for your, ans uh, for your activity, you're going to answer. Isusulat ko dito. You're just going to answer. Activity card number one. Assessment card number one and enrichment card number one. Ayan lang ang sasagutin. Puro number one. Kung nagsagot na kayo, kayong bahala kung gusto nyo ipasa yon. Okay? So, any question? Do you have any questions? Any questions? 